Interview and job search strategies at work. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about what you can say, or give you an idea really, just give you a suggestion on what to say when your future employer asks you. So tell us about a time when you, uh, in your job, where you you had to make a hard decision and what was the outcome. So I'll, I'll tell you two scenarios um, about that. The first one is that, that you could use. If you're in IT, you can use this one. If you're not, I don't know that it would be applicable. Here goes. Uh, here, here's a scenario. We had to, uh, for better lack of term, is make the <laughs> make the SQL database secure. <laughs> so uh, we didn't know what the SA password was for the SharePoint site. So, so, so we we changed the SharePoint. Uh, we we changed the SQL SA password to something, basically, and in doing so, uh, took down the SharePoint site. <laughs> so, when when the manager came and said, uh, "What's going on? Why did you?" And, you know, of course, you just have to say, "Yes, this is uh, our mistake, and this is what we're going to do to resolve it." And in that case, the, the SQL server was a physical server. Of course, the SharePoint server was too. So our solution, we said, well, we're just gonna virtualize it. Since it's down, let's go ahead and virtualize it. And it, it, of course, it came back up. We got it back up in, I don't know, a couple hours. But, uh, you know, that was, uh, that, that was the scenario. So you could use that if, if you want to or something like that. Uh, if you don't have anything, I don't know why you wouldn't have anything in your repertoire. And the other one was probably applicable to pretty much any uh, company or any place. It goes like this. Yesterday the client or the customer called me and I solved the customer's problem, or so I thought. The next day, the customer, because I wasn't in at that as early, uh, the customer called a coworker. The coworker then calls me and says, "What's going on with this, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. So the solution was to just get on a call with the other customer, or with the customer and the coworker. And then to tell the other coworker, hey, I, I got this. Just jump off the call. I'll take care of it. Um, so what does that do? That that gives the customer an idea that okay, they're um, I've, I've talked to this other person. Now I'm talking to the original person again. So they oh okay. So I I'm, I'm being handled properly basically, and the customer feels validated in that regard. So that's a those are. Two real-world scenarios uh, that you could use to your benefit if you so desire. So um, thank you very much for listening to this podcast and have a great day.